Alrighty then, we are back. November 1st, episode 1. Okay, so here we go. I wanted to address the topic that I had mentioned just quickly in the last episode, which was that I wasn't really a big fan or I thought the VX1000 sucked. That is true. I definitely think the VX1000 sucks this day, to, to this day, in 2023. A VX1000 right now, in my opinion, does not hold up whatsoever. By using that camera, it's a disservice to the skateboarding and to what I can see with the skateboarding. Like I want to see all of it. I want to see the location. I want to see the skater. I want to see the board flipping. I want to see in the shadows. I want to see... I just want to see. Now that's my opinion. Disagree all you'd like. It's totally fine with me. At the point in time I'm, that all this is taking place, it, it was just a tool. It was a tool that we had at the time that was the best tool for the job and kind of the only tool for the job. I knew that when you put a Mark 1 fisheye onto it, the image and the distortion you got out of it was awesome. And I knew that it sounded good. I liked those things. But once I got the VX2 and once other cameras started coming out, I started realizing like those colors look better. They looked more crisp and more vibrant. And the VX1 looked old and kind of washed out to me. And I was, I was realizing it then. As time went on, you know, after First Love, after I think it was Let's Do This, I immediately bought into the HVX200. And I realized like, oh, there's a whole different world of, of HD and more resolution and more aspect ratio and more space. I wanted a camera that could take me like into the future. And so like with the HVX200, which is what I shot uh, debacle on, I knew right away that, okay, these colors look awesome. It's HD, it's, it's this new thing. And that's what I was interested in. I was interested in a new tool for a new era of time, a new portion of my career. I think the only person who had the HVX200 at that point in time was Ty Evans, and he had used it a little bit, but I was really keen on trying to, to shoot an entire video on an HD camera. And it also was intriguing because I knew that if I learned this new camera that it maybe would lead to other jobs or you know another pathway towards camera work. That's the big reason. I, I don't see the purpose in using a VX1 nowadays to 2023. I think it's a disservice to the skating. I think you are, and at times, I think it's quite lazy to use that camera. And I know I'm going to get so much hate for saying that it's lazy because maybe uh, using that camera to you like brings back this nostalgic feeling and it just feels good to go out with just this camera and just a fisheye. Totally get it. I totally get it. But it's just my opinion, it seems a bit lazy. I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean it in a way that if you picked up a different camera and you learned about a different aspect ratio or you or you picked up a, a 4K camera and you understood the benefits of having that versus a VX1, then I think you would slowly start to realize like, oh, I can do this much more with a different camera. And yes, this other old camera gave me a nostalgic feel, but I'm really putting myself in a box by using this old camera. Just my opinion. And p please, keep using them. Do what you're going to do. Film on them. Go for it. Also, I feel the same way right now, currently, about like an HVX200, HPX170. Like if you're using that camera now, I think you're only using it for, for a couple reasons. <clears throat> so here we go. We're in Spain. We're at Plaza Catalunya. We got Tim O'Connor here being super funny. Oh, 
You had a good like four hits. They look alright. Tim is really funny to have on trip. Supplies you with all the jokes, all the laughter. He's good. I'm really stoked to be at this timeline in all my tapes because I really do like Spain. This is our second trip to Spain. Oliver Barton was a photographer who worked at Transworld, but he lived in Spain. And he's the one who set up our first Spain trip. Me and all the guys liked it so much that we decided to go on a second Spain trip for the next video. It is, it works. The first one works and after that you stretch it out too much. Oh my God. Oh, you go faster, you'll roll away easier. That's me, that's me. So aside from Danny Renaud pounding a 40 here at Plaza Catalonia, not much really happens. Really only included this footage just because I, I like the way this place looks. Like I, I like all the people walking around. Barca is a cool place. Ole! This clip's pretty cool here where Danny's board shoots out and this random guy dodges the board, kind of stops it, and then some other guy stops it and uh, you know prevents his board from going into the road. That was pretty rad. And then Silas breaks his board and Danny realizes they're going to need some more boards. Oh! Dude, we're going to need a lot more boards, I think. <laughs> Lots more. See, me pasó ya. Estoy bien. Siempre me pasa. <laughs> Call you tonight. You what? I don't think it will happen if you. <laughs> I'll call you when I figure it out. Cause Hunter made a promise to me, so I think he's 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 real. Well, I've called him, but he hasn't picked up. Don't worry, we're gonna figure it out. Mwah. Oh, she hung up on me. Hella whipped. <laughs> Fuck you, out. man. Here, take your phone. <laughs> Kick your ass. Omar's on the phone right here with his girlfriend that he was gonna fly out, which back then was kind of considered like a no, like you don't do that. Maybe at the end of the trip, but not during the trip. But Omar is special. He shows up to Sans, he's all happy. He just got his girlfriend from the airport. He has his little video camera he's shooting on. I think Oliver's apartment was right near Sans, and that was our warm up spot, I believe. So this bank to ledge and like ledge into bank and this whole cool setup right here that Kyle is skating is called Mullins Del Rey. And you can see me here, like I'm, I'm all over the place. Like I'm trying an angle from up top, I'm trying an angle down low, I'm trying a rolling long lens. And I remember doing that a lot. Like I would really switch up my angles a lot. And I don't know if it was like an ADD thing or if it was always thinking there was a better angle and what I was filming wasn't that good. So back then it could have been bad that I was moving around so much or it could have been good. I know that it definitely supplied me with a lot of cutting options. Like I could cut from this side to this side. I don't know, I did it a lot. I moved around a lot. It was in a couple episodes back where Stefan does a switch nose grind 180 out. And then and in this episode, a whole nother trip, he does it again. Complaining and looking for some little cord as oh, yeah. usual. You're tra you're Ooh, you cord. had your hands in your track you bees. <laughs> oh my flash. <laughs> this clip of Stefan and Kyle right here is so good. Strikey B! We loved hearing Oliver's accent and he had all these cool terms and he'd always be mentioning these people, these uh, tracky bees. Tracky bees! Tracky bees, from what I understand, are like a pant, a basketball pant, you know, like a, like a breakaway pant or something. 
So they're kind of like that plasticky material. What's I'm talking about the trucky ball. Oh, trucky ball. Trucky ball. Trucky ball. Trucky ball. I'll trucky ball. I'll go away, trucky ball. You don't want your trucky ball on the plane? Oh, no, let's go to. Let's go to a trucky ball. I got you. I got you. No. What am I not for? Cotton stock. Definitely I don't know if it was like a term from where Oliver was from or if it was a Spanish term. He'd always say it and these guys are like making fun of him and we're having a good time. It's so good to see Oliver. Why'd you get it? In this Burberry scarf that he's cleaning my lens with. Red some Burberry on it. Oh my god, you just scratched it. Oh my Can you god. see the Burberry inside? It's a proper chav lens cleaner that. <laughs> Yeah, they're both my favorite. So this spot here, the Forum. Hey, you hit my head. Cool part about this time period of Spain in Barcelona was it was really fresh. It was just becoming like a hot city to go to. And Oliver was on the forefront of that. And so I remember him saying that we should go to the spot, the forum, and it has this really unique ceiling that's like a mirror. And so we get there and I'm, and I'm just like, whoa. I'm already impressed with the architecture everywhere I go in Spain and in Barcelona. So when I get there and I'm like, okay, right away, I'm like, I could pan down from the ceiling. I could see them in the mirror above and I'm getting all excited. And that was the coolest part about travel. You just have these blank canvases set in front of you and you can you know, use your camera to make cool imagery like within skating. And so the forum was a perfect place for that. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, it's really weird. Coming from sunny California, this is cold for us. It even snowed one one day or maybe two days. Explain the situation, Shala. I look like shit, I feel like shit. It's cold as shit. It snowed here, it rained, it's windy. I got the flu, so does everybody else. Is it paradise? Hell no. <laughs> I say, is it paradise? And he says, hell no. It's definitely not paradise. This time? Yeah, first time I come to Spain was so good. Second time, very, very bad. You never think about it, but when you go on a trip, like, yeah, if you get hurt or you get sick, like, the trip just turns into, you're just kind of in hell because you can't do anything. Like, you're, you're in paradise, but you can't skate or, you know, you don't feel good. Very, very bad so far, but, um, I don't know, hopefully it'll get better. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at this next spot. You see me like zooming around a little bit and you'll see like the colors changing and something happened to my VX2. I don't know what happened, but it, it was breaking on this trip. As I would zoom, that would happen. Like the colors would change. Want to go film something over there? Yeah. We're on film. The appeal to being in Barcy is just this. Kyle does his back nose blunt to fakie on the window seal, which I don't like the way I film, by the way. But Omar comes up, he's like, I want to skate this thing over here. It's like bridge into the red bank. And it was literally just the other side of that yellow bank that Kyle just skated. Why you gotta do that? I don't want to do this. Watch this. <laughs> And so Omar is, you know, developing quite the audience here. People stop, like, wonder what's going on. Lots of older people. Omar loved anything like into a hill, you know, as you already know, he just loves going fast. I think he did that on purpose where the guy walked away with a cane and then he used his board as a cane up the bank. I think Omar actually did that on purpose.
Oh my god. <laughs> so Omar made the kickflip, but then hit the flat and then just ate it. Omar cuts open his hand, and I think he's over it for this day. <laughs> Starting to fake cry. God. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Sorry, I didn't end it on a high note. Can I see it? I know Omar does make this kickflip. I know it'll be in a future episode, so maybe that keeps you coming back. If you like hearing about cameras and you like hearing me talk shit on cameras, come back again. And just remember, it's my opinion. And I'm allowed to have my opinion. Y'all are allowed to have your own opinion. I respect it. Might not agree with it. Might not agree with me. Hey, who cares? If you enjoy watching this stuff, come on back. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Have a good one. Can you see the battery inside?